finally have got back to doing another video. Here's a 9th gen i5 9500T. PS3 is pretty damn good. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, here. please proceed directly to reception. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Over on PS2, I've got Crash and Burn running at two times the original resolution. And this is a game that won't run at all on anything older than a 6th gen i5. In fact, so far on PS2, I've got everything running at least two times the original resolution. I thought I'd give a little bit of a comparison between Daytona USA on Model 3 the version I've got on Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn is actually notched up to six times the original resolution and I know I could have notched it another one. Check out GameCube. I've doubled the graphic revolution and it plays like a dream. I cranked up N64 six times for the eye candy and it could have done much more. Doubling the eye candy over on the Xbox with Simpsons hit and run. Dreamcast in HD. It looks beautiful. The i5 9500T with its 6 cores is handling everything I'm throwing at it right up to PS3. Even at PS3 it's playing quite a lot of titles, although this is where it will fall down eventually. PS2 is exceptional, in fact there's very little if not anything I could say negative about it. 